From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. High up in the Ecuadorian Andes, indigenous communities tend their herds of alpacas, a llama-like animal known for its fine and soft fleece. Alpacas are not only environmentally friendly, their hooves and teeth do not damage the Paramo grasslands, an important source of water for the region, but they also can improve the livelihoods of the people living here. Once a year, Emily Ducci and other members of the community gather to shear the alpacas and grade their fleece for quality. It is a community effort. There are 40 teams who collect the wool together. We then share with each other the money we get. Alpacas were reintroduced here a decade ago, but these communities had lost their traditional knowledge on how to look after them. Now, a local conservation organization is helping them better manage the animals. Project manager Alfredo Atti says it's all about providing alternative sources of income. We are working on improving the quality of the wool so we can get the best price for this high-grade material. The project is part of a bio-trade program initiated by the UN Conference on Trade and Development to help the communities access niche markets that are willing to pay them a fair price for the sustainably produced alpaca yarn. One business giving the community a fair price for its yarn is Pacocha, founded by Lorena Perez. She makes top-of-the-range knitwear for the domestic and export market. A former nature guide, she gave up her job in order to concentrate on helping poor women earn a decent wage. It was for me a like a dream to think working with an ecological animal, with poor women in the mountains, and with more women in the cities or in the town who are poor. Lorena has signed up to the UNCTAD Biotrade principles, which guarantee that her products preserve the environment and that her workers receive a fair salary. <laughs> Dolores Aguirre and her sisters earn seven times the going rate for their alpaca sweaters, dresses and scarves. I like this work because it is creative and I can earn a living, work at home and help my family. As in other developing countries, the market in Ecuador for these premium products is growing. But according to Lorena Jaramillo from UNCTAD, it is the international market that is key for the success of biotrade. The foreign consumers are the ones that motivate and they're the ones that keep the initiatives going because they're the ones that uh, guarantee the economic sustainability of the initiative. In Geneva, models show off the latest in Echo Chic to an international audience. Organized by UNCTAD and Green to Greener, the show brought together designers from more than 40 countries committed to creating sustainable fashion that preserves the environment and respects labor standards. Top model Summerain Oaks was delighted to showcase the alpaca dress designed by Pacocha. Depending on what sustainable fashion that you go for, and in case of this dress, it's really helping disenfranchised groups who, and a cultural craft that is preservation. I think, you know, all consumers can be philanthropists in a way, and if you do that through, you know, buying a beautiful dress, you're helping contribute to that. But while consumer demand for sustainable fashion is growing, top designer Peter Ingberson says the industry still has work to do. The big challenge will be, are the products stylish enough? Does the consumer really want to buy into, even though it might be ethically correct, but are the design good enough? And that's the big challenge that we have in front of us. In fashion parlance, it will be at least a decade before green is the new black. But these eco-chic warriors believe that the industry is starting to head in the right direction.
This report was produced by Claire Duhl for the United Nations.